Welcome to Bespoke Diaries, today's article is on inspiring story of Chandeep Singh, a professional sports person from India. Chandeep Singh is a national skater, international taekwondo player and now he is aspiring and training to be a swimmer. What else is he? Chandeep says, I am a person everyone categorize as a person with disability or special ability. Now, I can tell you my story and you may or may not get amazed, or may not motivate you. But I am telling you this, so that if ever you feel stuck, you feel that you've hit rock bottom and there's no way to go forward. Think of my story and maybe you can channel in yourself some energy to start am gain on it. I was 11 years old, in 7th class. I was a football player, athletics and skating at school, zonal and national levels. I was hyperactive and notorious kids, like a magnet to accident but nothing ever stopped me. Then, on the cold day of 2nd of January, 2011, I was playing with my cousins on the rooftop. While playing, my hand accidentally touched an 11,000 volts electricity wire. My both arms burnt and my abdomen literally burst. I was taken to the local hospital and from there I was referred to another one, more than 100 kilometers away, which was more equipped to deal with it. When I reached there, since my kidneys had failed, they couldn't address my arms right away. According to the doctors my survival was on the priority and not my arms. So after few hours and couple dialysis, I was in the operation theater. Till then it was late and the arms had started getting infected. So, they amputate my hands near my wrist. I was unconscious and when I woke up I still couldn't figure out that I had lost my hand. When I did, I cried frantically for a while and then stopped. Then, since the infection had not stopped, it was decided to go for another operation, in which my forearms were to be amputated. I was conscious during that one. And then all of my arms were amputated. Meanwhile, I was going no other surgeries on my abdomen. Today, I can say that I have two pair of lips one up here and one on my belly. My lower torso has been reconstructed by plastic surgeries. Obviously it was excruciating, immensely painful and heart-wrenching. But I went on to become a national level skater, with my name in the Golden Book of World Records featuring me as the fastest para skater in 100 meters category. I am an international taekwondo player with several medals and awards in my kitty, including four international golds. I am also Jammu and Kashmir State Awardee, 2019. And I would tell you one thing, not to brag but what I feel helped me can you too. Despite being a para-athlete, despite the disability I always preferred to practice with the normal players. Because that prepares me better. It is a choice to take on challenges. You can stay safe in your cocoon or face the odd and conquer it. Now, I am training for swimming. Yes, without arms. It only took me two days, because I believed I can do it before I even dipped my toes in water. I am eyeing on the national and international tournaments of that as well. Even when I came to studies, my disability was never my excuse. I am currently pursuing electrical engineering and will pass out in couple of months. Chandeep shares 7 things that he has been unconsciously practicing all this while. 1. You can choose the attitude you have, you can be a victim or a victor. Of course, it is devastating that I lost both my limbs, my whole life changed. But I don't remember cribbing about it. If anything I and my family are grateful that I survived. It could be no because I was young, that I didn't focus on what I couldn't do, but challenge myself to do those. When I was still in ICU, I asked my brother to lend me the phone for a while. And he had expression that were expected of him shocked and questioning. But I insisted. In couple of hours I was scrolling through the phone with my feet. Even doctors were amazed that I learned it so quickly, like I had been practicing it even before the accident. I never let it sink in that I cannot do it be it skating, taekwondo or swimming. I used to skate before, and I had a realization that arms are needed for balance in the sport. Despite that when I'd see my peers practicing it would grab me towards it. 
So one day I borrowed a pair of skates from a friend and started practicing. When I learnt enough then I declared it to my family that I want to go to stadium for formal coaching. They were shocked and before they could tell me I cannot I announced, I already can. This was not after years but few months from my accident. I still had stitches on. It's not that I never crashed, I even ripped open my stitches but I knew I had to get back on track after each fall. I didn't want to be victim of my circumstances, of my disability, I wanted to be victor, a winner in every situation. 2. The energies you channel in yourself, is the energy you give out. The energy you give out is the energy you get back. I didn't realize it then but I appreciate it now. My parents never made me feel I was any less after the accident and double amputation. I still get pampered, spoiled and even scolded. My family is big on humor and we laugh most of the time. Just think of a scenario, when my family was trying to be positive, if I had a pessimistic attitude and focused of what I had lost, or when I was enthusiastic about skating, if they would have been restrictive. The energies would have been blocked. I received what I was giving out and I was giving out what I was receiving. 3. That brings me to next point, sometimes you don't need a push but a decker. Family's support is must. I remember that my family went on from being a positive one to even more positive. And it has added to my growth. But sometimes you not only need encouragement but you need someone to put you in the challenges. While everyone else are always encouraging, my sister pushed me a little harder. She has at time made me take on challenges which even I was apprehensive about. 4. Don't forget to smile and have a good hearty laugh. We all have bad days, sometimes it starts to look like a bad life. But it isn't as bad when you smile. Smiling can be difficult at times but like I said Victor's attitude. A winner smiles through challenges, and not just drag themselves through it. When everything around you is gloomy cracking a joke, or doing something funny has always worked for me. The kid inside you should always stay alive and mischievous. 5. Look at the bright side. There's always a ray of light for every shadow. Now, I can be an achiever but I have a fair realization that I am dependent. I need someone to feed me. But instead of feeling low about it, I focus on the fact that while one's own hand can do you harm, when one smokes or drinks or just about to do anything that harms themselves. But the hands I am relying on would never do that to me. 6. Do you celebrate an achievement or something good that happened to you for lifetime? Then why remember a mishap or a failure? Move on. My point is when something good happens to us, we get happy, we celebrate and then we move on. Yes, we remember it but we don't keep celebrating it for rest of our lives. Then why do we get stuck on failures or mishaps? Yes, feeling disappointed and grieved is natural but one cannot keep mourning for all our lives. I cannot imagine if I had been crestfallen that I don't have my arms anymore and keep grieving and complaining about it, I couldn't have done any good, survival would have become difficult let alone winning any award. 7. In last I have few lines I want you to take away from here. A sum up in my seventh point. Belief in yourself, can be miraculous. Dreaming is life changing. Pursuing it is daring. Tackling challenges is rewarding. Executing tasks towards your goal is moving. Achieving them is motivating. Chandeep's achievement, Taekwondo National and International Player Category, K41, National Player in Skating and World Record Holder, World Ranking, 3, State Awardee, for Outstanding Sports Person, 8th World Para Taekwondo Championship Turkey, Silver Medalist, the 4th Asian Para Open Taekwondo Championship, Vietnam, Gold Medal, Kim Un Yong International Para Taekwondo Open 2018, G1, Republic of Korea K41, Gold Medal, K42, Gold Medal, 2nd Kathmandu International Taekwondo Championship, 
gold medal, world's 100 meters fastest para skater, golden book of world records and assist book of world records, national gold medalist in taekwondo, state gold medalist in skating, national level player in skating, seek achievers award India 2019. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Do leave your thoughts in the comments section below. For similar type of article please reach us at contact at thebespokediaries.com or you can visit our website www.thebespokediaries.com.